Good evening all, welcome to another exciting edition of sports, I'm Romico Knowles. First up in sports, golfers will be returning to the links this weekend for another round of golf at the Reef Golf Course. Jay Philippe has more. The 8th annual Grand Bahama Open is set for the weekend April 6 and 7 over at the Reef Golf Course. The Bahamas Golf Federation Northern Region is at the helm of this year's tournament, which means that some of the top golfers in the country is expected to be present. We expect about 70 golfers from the Bahamas and other areas in the U.S., Canada, and the Caribbean. And uh, we believe that, uh, that with the addition of the, uh, the new um, cup and, uh, and the interest that the Grand Bahama Open has, has had over the years and the support that we've got from the Ministry of Tourism, that this will be a... Uh, one of the better, one of the best events that we've had in the uh, in the Grand Bahama Open. So we're looking forward to it. We've got professionals uh, coming in from NASA, Avaco. Um, hopefully, we get one or two uh, from other parts of the world. The Ministry of Tourism has been instrumental in assisting this tournament over the last few years. Novelati Chartersing, manager for Niche Market, says that golf has been one of the main attraction features that continue to draw visitors to the island. Golf is a major component uh, of a tourism product, and we're trying to do as many golf tournaments as possible here on Grand Bahama Island to try to raise the level of golf once again and get it back here in droves in terms of the number of golfers who, who come on island to play golf. And as you outlined, we're down to perhaps a, a single playable golf course right now here at the uh, Reef Golf Course, and we're hoping that not to distant future uh, that'll be able to change. There will be a number of cups up for grabs. We'll see who the winners will be on the weekend. I'm Jay Philippe, ZNS Total Sports. In athletics now, the latest results from day two of the Grand Bahama KFC Pizza Hut Track and Field Championships. Leading in the big schools division is Maurice Moore in first place, Hugh Campbell in second, Freeport Primary in third, Walter Parker in fourth. In the medium schools category, Martintown leads the way, Sunland Baptist in second, Bartlett Hill Primary in third, Freeport Gospel in fourth, Bishop Michael Eldon in fifth, Mary Star of the Sea in sixth. In the Little Schools Division, Holmes Walk Primary leads the way in first, Tabernacle in second, Lewis Yard Primary in third, West End Primary in fourth, East End Grand Bahama in fifth, Grace Christian Academy in sixth, Freeport Bible in seventh, and Grand Bahama Academy in eighth. Taking you to basketball now, game two of the Grand Bahama Night League Championships will resume tonight at the Jack Hayward Gymnasium beginning at 8 p.m. The Gym Rats looking to close out the best of three series after winning the first meeting of the two teams, 108 to 92. That's your check on sports. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Romico Nodes. Until next time, make it a great one.